The letter urged Theresa May to stick to the Brexit ideals outlined in her rousing Lancaster House speech. One year ago, the Tory MPs offered their continued and strong support for Mrs May's leadership before strongly suggesting six ways in which the PM could strengthen the country's position. The letter was written by former Remainer John Penrose and signed by another 61 MPs, including hardline Brexiteer Mr Rees-Mogg, a former cabinet member Priti Patel and Former party leader Ian Duncan Smith, the letter, which is date-stamped February 16 and was shared on social media last night, emphasised the group's support for leaving both the EU customs union and single market before pointedly offering suggestions on how Mrs May could achieve her goals. Get it, Theresa May has been sent a short Brexit letter by 62 Tory MPs Tuesday April 4, 2017 France has the highest score in the index at 32.5 suggested taking control of our tariff schedules at the WTO. You government may need to change these significantly, and must have power to do so without signify by the EU27 full regulatory autonomy. Your government must have the ability to change British laws and rules once we leave, rather than being a rule taker, without any substantive say in whatever Brussels decides Brexit negotiations must dovetail into a global trade strategy. The UK must be free to start its own trade negotiations immediately. This is essential to minimise gaps between Britain leaving the EU and signing new deals with other countries. The UK should negotiate as an equal partner. Ministers may not want to be able to accept the EU's timing and mandate as fixed and should be able to Set out alternative terms. Any implementation period should be based on WTO principles and must not restrain the UK from negotiating or signing other trade agreements. The letter concluded with another declaration of support for the PM. It said, famously you said that you wanted to make a success of Brexit. We wholeheartedly agree with you. Only a Conservative government led by you can deliver these opportunities for our country. GETTY 62 Tory MPs have sent Theresa May a Brexit warning. One Tory MP responded with fury to the letter. Stephen Hammond, who supported Remain, told The Times the PM must not be constrained in the upcoming negotiations. Any restraint on what the government does during the transition period must be resisted, if it is in the UK's interest to remain aligned to international and EU standards to allow trade it would be madness not to do so.